Akeem Blake, Johan Blake, and Oblique Seville are all through to the men's 100 meter semi-final. All three of Jamaica's male sprinters in the men's 100 meter heats at the World Athletics Championships have qualified automatically for the next round of the competition. Akeem Blake was first to do so in heat number one, running 10.15 seconds to take second place behind Marvin Bracey of the USA, 10.05 seconds, and ahead of Raymond Akebu of Nigeria, 10.17 seconds. The next Jamaican to qualify was Oblique Seville, who ran against the Olympic champion Lamont Marcel Jacobs, with Seville leading the field from the first 15 meters right through to the finish for a clocking of 9.93 seconds ahead of Marcel Jacobs 10.04 and the third place qualifier Ryuchiro Sakai of Japan who progressed to the next round with his clocking of 10.12. The final Jamaican meal to make it through this round was the veteran Johan Blake who ran in heat 5 finishing second to the sensational teenager, Letzil Tobogo of Botswana, who won the race with an amazing new under-20 world record and Botswana national record time of 9.94 seconds. Blake's time for second place was 10.04, while Aaron Brown of Canada took the third place qualifying spot with a time of 10.06 which was a new season's best for him. Tomorrow, which is day two of the championships, we have both the semi-finals and the final of the men's 100 meters. And I am expecting that at least two Jamaicans in Johan Blake and Oblique Seville will make it through to the finals of the event. There is a possibility that young Akeem Blake could also be there. But he is drawn in a semi-final where he will be running against USA's Christian Coleman and Fred Curley, who ran a mad time of 9.79 seconds today to win Heat 2. Then there is also Andre de Grasse of Canada in that semi-final too. So even though each race is run and won on the particular day, this one looks kind of tough for our young Jamaican to progress. But I do hope he does, and as always, all the best to all of the Jamaicans going out to compete on day two in Oregon.